Early this morning, we got the highly anticipated details for the upcoming Int LR Vegito and Fizz LR Gogeta Extreme Z Awakenings. So in this video, we're going to be breaking it all down and I'll give you guys my opinions on how these EZAs turned out. Okay, so uh, with that said, let's just jump right into it, starting here with the Int LR Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta first. Now, before the Extreme Z Awakening, their leader skill is Batara Category Key plus 3, HP and Attack plus 170%, and Defense plus 130%, or Int Types Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 90%. 12 Key Super Attack, Colossal Damage, 18 Key Super raises Attack for one turn and causes Mega Colossal Damage. Passive is Attack and Defense plus 120% at the start of turn, Key plus 2 in addition per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained, and performs a Patara Fusion when conditions are met. And the conditions are performs a Patara Fusion when HP is 50% or below, starting from the 6th turn from start of battle. Now jumping over to the EZA details, the new leader skill is Patara Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 180%. Now initially, before we got the details, I thought they would maybe either not touch the Patara part or make it 170% across the board, but I guess since we have 200% leader skills now, this really makes sense. But yeah, 180% across the board is still pretty crazy to me right now. And uh, also, int types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense, plus 120%. 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive attack and defense plus 180%, so a 60% buff, and a medium chance of performing a critical hit, a medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, performs. A Patara Fusion when conditions are met. Now you'll notice that the uh, Patara Fusion conditions are the exact same as before, but this could change in the future because on the Twitter reveal, um, they didn't mention anything about the Patara Fusion conditions. So this is just a stand in for now. Hopefully, they do make some kind of adjustment to it to just make it a little bit easier to get, right? Like, maybe 60% HP or below, 70% HP or below, or at least a better turn restriction, turn 4, turn 5, because right now this is just a really bad condition, <laughs> in my opinion, and uh, it's pretty hard to get on a lot of events in the game, even uh, like Super Battle Road, where, you know, oftentimes you can fall below 50% HP, but you might never see turn 6 in a fight, right? So. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed, they changed this, but we'll see. Now, let's take a look at the Int LR Vegito now, after the Patara Fusion. Before the EZA, uh, leader skill, of course, stays the same. 12 key super is colossal damage, 18 key super, mega colossal damage, and raises allies' attack by 30% for one turn. Passive, fully recovers HP once only, counters normal attacks with tremendous power, Attack and defense plus 150% at the start of turn, and key plus 3 in addition per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. With the EZA, 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. 18 key super greatly raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. Passive fully recovers HP once only. Attack and defense plus 200%. Counters normal attacks with tremendous power, reduces damage received by 30% for 3 turns from start of turn, reduces damage received by 15% starting from the 4th turn, and finally, key plus 3 in addition per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. So, yeah, those are the details for the Int LR Vegito Extreme Z Awakening, and my initial impression is that he is going to be. Absolutely insane, guys. I mean, he's going to be hitting super, super hard, both on the super attack, but especially on the counters that come after. And his defense will be off the charts as well. I mean, after he supers with the 18 key, he should be getting 
well over 300k defense, of course, at rainbow status. And that's going to be good enough to take double digits against normals on, like, most events in the game. And then even against super attacks, he should be fine. Obviously, if it's a type disadvantage super, he might take, I don't know, 50k, 100k, something like that. But you never have to worry about him getting you killed because he's just not going to. He's going to have, once again, over 300k defense after he supers. And he also has the 30% damage reduction, which drops to... 15% after turn 4, but I guess in most events, especially if they keep the uh, Patara fusion condition the same, this guy's going to be kind of your finisher, so he might not even last for 4 turns before the event's over, but of course that's situational, right? But the point is, he's going to have some great defense, he's going to do tons and tons of damage, I mean before he was already doing a lot of damage, but he's going to do even more damage now. And with the, you know, improved defense, with the improved damage reduction, it's never a concern to put him in front of 10, 15 attacks, right? So, um, yeah, incredible easy A. I have nothing negative to say about it. I'm just excited, guys. I'm just really excited. And of course, the leader skill is, is awesome. I mean, HP attack and defense plus 180% is more than I could have wished for, is more than I could have asked for, and it's going to make the Patara category really, really fun to run. And uh, quickly going over the uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta, um, in terms of improvements, we're getting, you know, some more attack and defense on the super attacks, we're getting 60% more attack and defense on the passive, and also a 30% chance to crit, and 30% chance to dodge. So, you know, nothing major, but definitely significant improvements for sure. And yeah, that's the Vegito. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it, man. He's going to be amazing. Now, moving on to my boy, Gogeta, who I will say right now is not as good as Vegito, but that was the case before the EZA. Nonetheless, he is still much improved. So starting here with the Super Saiyan Angel Goku and Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta, pre EZA leader skill, fusion category key plus three, HP and attack plus 170%, defense plus 130, uh, Fizz types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%, 12 key super, colossal damage, 18 key raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage, and then passive is attack and defense plus 120% at start of turn, key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, views when conditions are met, and the fusion condition is the same as Vegito. Uh, fuse when HP is 50% or below, starting from the 6th turn from start of battle. And once again, we don't know if they're going to change this, but I am somewhat hopeful that it's going to be at least improved a little bit, okay? Now, uh, with the easy 8, leader skill becomes fusion category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 180%, or... This type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 180% at the start of turn. Medium chance of performing a crit, medium chance of evading enemy super attacks, or rather, uh, enemies attacks, including super attacks. Key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, and fuse when conditions. Are met so basically the exact same passive as the uh, int LR Goku and Vegeta and then for the Gogeta now uh, before the EZA super attack 12 key colossal damage 18 key mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense and passive fully recovers HP once only attacks effective against all types attack and defense plus 150 percent at the start of turn, key plus 3 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. And with the Extreme Z Awakening, 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And uh, Ultra Super, 18 key super greatly raises defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and greatly lowers attack and defense. Passive fully recovers HP once only. Attacks effective against all types. Attack and defense plus 200% at the start of turn, performs a critical hit when attacking and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, for 3 turns from start of turn, high chance of performing a critical hit and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, starting from the 4th turn from start of battle, and then key plus 3 in addition 
or Rainbow Case Fear obtained. So as far as the Gogeta is concerned, we're getting 50% uh, more attack and defense. We now have the uh, guaranteed critical and also 50% chance to dodge for our first three turns when this guy appears. And then uh, after that, we have a high chance, so 50% chance of performing a crit and a 30% chance of dodging from uh, turn 4 onward. So uh, just like the Vegito, a significant upgrade, but as I said before, I do think the Vegito is still better because of the counter mechanic, which is still very, very broken. It's still very busted, and Gogeta with his... Guaranteed crit and his attacks effective against all types is amazing, but it still doesn't really stack up to the counters, which are just really busted, man. The counters are really busted, so um, Vegito still wins, but they showed my boy Kojita a lot of respect. I can't complain about this at all. Uh, some people um, have said that, you know, critical hits are not that meaningful when it comes to this unit because he already had attacks effective against all types so the crit will make him do more damage but not in a significant way right but hey more damage is still more damage and of course he is going to be hitting harder with the higher attack and defense boost anyways and also with the level 25 super attack so um yeah he's going to be great he's going to be getting you know over 300k defense just like the vegeto and also the high chance to dodge is great. I would have preferred damage reduction, honestly. That's just, you know, what I like. But uh, high chance to dodge, of course, is still good. Although there are certain bosses in the game that cancel dodge, right? So in that case, damage reduction is much, much better. But nonetheless, um, yeah, great easy A. Uh, I would have maybe liked to see a medium chance even or a high chance for... An additional super attack, I think that would have made him more balanced compared to the Vegito, right? Put them on like a more even playing field, but it wasn't meant to be, and that's that's fine. He's gonna be just fine. He's gonna be just fine. So, um, yeah, those are the third anniversary LREZAs. Oh, one thing I will also mention is that. With the EZA of the Super Saiyan Goku, or Angel Goku, and Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta now, uh, I'm gonna have to change my hidden potential for this unit, because I think a lot of people, myself included, gave this unit full crits, or as many crits as possible, since it was so hard and so rare to get the fusion into Super Gogeta, right? But now, with the EZA, they have a built-in 30% chance to crit before the fusion, so it really makes more sense to give them more additionals over crit so I'm gonna have to make that change luckily I think I have at least a few extra dupes of this unit to make that adjustment but not everyone is in that situation so I'm hoping that Bandai will uh, bring back the hidden potential campaign where you know changing hidden potential skills only costs one stone versus ten I think that was a thing for a while right unless I'm making that up I don't think so though I remember there was a time where they reduced the cost of changing hidden potential skills so hopefully that becomes a thing because a lot of people will have to make that adjustment but otherwise uh no real complaints about either of these EZAs as I said I do think Vegito is better that's just you know my opinion and if you look at the uh, APT numbers the attack per turn number comparison between these two units Vegito is going to be higher by uh quite a bit that's just how it is but yeah guys those are the Extreme Z Awakenings coming up for the 7th anniversary on JP. Of course, eventually on Global as well, once we get our uh, anniversary in early July to August, right? So, um, yeah, I am super excited for this. Hopefully, you guys are hyped as well. Let me know in the comments what your overall opinions of these EZAs are. But I am more than impressed. I am more than happy with uh, how these turned out. So... There you have it. That is going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.